What's up YouTube? It's me Jess and I'm an opera singer. Today's video is going to be the choice from the winner of my performance analysis giveaway. The winner chose for me to do a performance analysis on the Vanderbilt Meladores, I believe that's how you say their name, the Vanderbilt Meladores singing Lay Me Down by Sam Smith. Let's go. do mm. I believe that one day I will be where I was right there right next to you mm. and it's hard the day just seems so dark the moon the stars are nothing without you your touch your skin oh. where do I begin no words can explain the way I'm missing you Emptiness, this hole that I'm inside. These tears, they tell uh. their own stories. Ba ah ah ah! No! <laughs> oh my God! Vanderbilt Melodores. I should do this before every video. Who are you? They are the champions of the Sing Off season five. That's incredible, and I, I can totally see why. Um. Okay. Now, who is this soloist? That's something else we need to figure out. The soloist on this song, the wonderfully talented and beautifully kind, Philip Kim. Wow, when I heard the very first chord, I was like, what the heck is going on? And where the heck is this going? That chord was just so, so like luscious and um, just like crunchy, right? So let's go back and let's re-listen to that chord because I got to figure out what the heck is going on. No, oh my God, they're, they're an acapella group. Maybe they have the sheet music. No. Attention all acapella groups. Please put your sheet music on your website for my poor ears. I will pay for it, I promise. I will pay for it. This would just be so helpful. Um, I can't find it anywhere else on like Google search, but um, Jesus, where, seriously, I have called on the unfair talent of Perfect Pitch from Eddie from Two Set in like four videos. Eddie from Two Set, if you even know I exist, I could seriously use your help in these videos. Okay, so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna try and figure out some of the notes in the very first chord. There's two notes. Oh. Ooh, dissonance. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, okay, wow. Okay, so the very first chord that we hear has this beautiful dissonance, and the dissonance is actually within the soprano note and one of the lower notes. I don't know if it's the lowest bass note, but one of the lower notes. And the soprano note is an E flat. And then one of the lower notes is an E natural. So those two notes are a half step apart, and that half step creates dissonance, right? It creates this sort of tension that wants to resolve either inward to the unison or outward to some sort of a third. Then you also have within this chord the A flat. Ah, uh, and what's interesting is you kind of have this tug of war going on with the A flat. So the A flat is very harmonious to the E flat, right? That's a perfect fifth, just a very harmonious open sound. But the A flat also has this very interesting relationship with the E natural. Yeah, oh come on, yeah. This 
um, interval is called an augmented fifth. It's also an harmonic to a minor sixth. My favorite interval. This relationship between the A flat and the E natural is very necessary, let's say, in music in general, right? Music would be so boring if it wasn't for the idea of tension and that tension wanting to resolve or hearing a lot of resolution and actually wanting to hear some sort of attention to finally get back to that resolve, right? That is what music is all about. So the A flat and the E natural have this interesting relationship where it's not a, a really um, tension feeling dissonance per se, but it is a dissonance in a sense where you really want to hear that that augmented fifth or minor sixth resolve down to make a perfect fifth. So you want to hear yeah go to yeah that's just kind of where that interval wants to resolve so you have this tug of war i feel poor a flat right it has this beautiful harmonious sound with the e flat within this chord but it also has this really interesting relationship with the e natural that gives that tension that is very necessary in music to then finally get to a resolve this chord at the very beginning was very beautiful to hear unexpected because I don't know who this group is, but also because if you know the original song by Sam Smith, you know that this type of a sound, this um, complex of a chord, is just not within the harmonic structure of the original track. So it just took me by surprise. Now what I also like about just the beginning structure of this piece so far is the back and forth with the soloist and the harmonies going on in the background. I like that um, they're kind of bouncing off of each other. You have a moment where you just hear the soloist and literally no harmonies in the background, and then the harmonies will come in, join in for a few beats or maybe a measure, and then back off, and then you hear the soloist by itself again. And I like that play of just kind of going back and forth between the two. And I'm sure that will all get drawn out as the song progresses, we'll hear. But this is seriously so, so, so good. In the way I'm missing you tonight This emptiness, this hole that I'm inside These tears, they tell their own stories Told me not to cry when Woo! you were gone mm. But the feeling's overwhelming It's much too That's so smooth. Hold on, rewind just really quickly, just that part. I don't want to be here if I can't be with you tonight. Woo! Smooth, clean. Okay, let me pause here again really quickly. His um Philip. Philip's um head voice, his upper range, is very, very strong. It's very present and it's very beautiful. And when he gets, you know, right to the center of the pitch, it's really, really, really nice to hear. Now, I will say I do prefer the more legato riff on the word you, like in the original song. So, you, I do prefer that instead of the, the kind of broken up staccati. Next to you. Not to say that, you know, this is less than, but it's all just subjective, um, personal preference, and honestly what he's doing really isn't taking away from the actual composition. The, the harmonies in the background 
are doing something really, really cool, and they are doing this kind of um, this echoing effect with the different parts of the voices, and their echoing effects are arpeggiating chords. It's just a nice touch to the overall composition. It really does take a composition from, let's say, like a level five up to a level 10. It's the cherries on tops that they're adding with this echoing arpeggiated chord effect. And to me, this is like the definition of ear candy. It's so nice to hear. Uh, let's go back and maybe catch some of those arpeggiated chords that the background harmonies are giving us. transitional moments. So the very first transitional moment we'll talk about is going to be when they started to sing the very first lines of the chorus, Can I Lay By Your Side? It was an introductory going into by your side next to you, okay? The cool effect was actually the dropping out of harmonies on certain words at certain points within this one phrase. So the coolness of this transition was, can I lay by your side? The can started with the soloist, Mr. Philip. He sang can by himself. It's much too strong. And can all of the other parts came in on I lay by your That's it. They only came in on I lay by your So you heard this beautiful just kind of bare moment with the soloist and then all of the harmonies came in and reinforced the I lay by your and then they stopped the sound and then he came and sang in just by himself on the word side. Can I lay by your side? That 
dropping out, like super dramatic dropout of sound was so, so cool. Very, very unexpected for me. And you know me, or if you don't know me, I love surprises and just unexpectedness within music. That was very cool. Now the second transition is going in on the bridge of the song. The harmonies in the background started singing do 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 on the night of tonight be with you tonight and what drove this um this rhythm and propelled it very much forward was the consistent eighth note beat of the dude so they're going do 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 one and two and three and four and they weren't giving us that before they gave us a snippet of that uh in uh, maybe about like 30 seconds before this part but it lasted just a couple of measures now it seems like it's going to be much more consistent and that's a very classic uh let's say transition in acapella music so let's go back and rewind so you can hear that that strong um, count of the one and two and three and four and starting on the word night of tonight. Take care of you and I don't want to be here if I can't be with you tonight. You better put some grit into that sound, Mr. Philip. Acid. Congratulations, Philip. That was an incredible performance. Those harmonies were just so beautiful. I seriously just want that sheet music so I can understand what's going on in all of them. Um, that's that's just me though. Um, yeah, seriously fantastic. I'm thank you to the winner of this giveaway for introducing me to this group. I don't know if I would have ever came across them. They're fantastic and I am very excited to add them to my acapella playlist on my YouTube channel. That is amazing. They are fantastic and I can't wait to get to know them more. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and please comment down below if you have ever heard of the Vanderbilt Melodoras. Melodoras, Melodoras, I don't know. Let me know that also in the comment section below. Also, make sure you turn on that bell notification so you know every time I put up a video on YouTube and also for when I go live. The winner of this performance analysis video was able to win this giveaway because they participated in my live stream. So make sure you have that bell notification turned on. If you're interested in taking a voice lesson with me, I'll have my website down in the description box below. If you wanna keep in touch with me, I'll have my Discord in the description box below as well and you can also also check out my Patreon. My Patreon only starts at $3 a month and there are very exclusive perks for all of my patrons. If you're interested in sponsoring a video of your own, there's a link in my description box that will take you directly to my webpage. There we will go through the process of getting your favorite artists out on my channel quickly. I hope y'all have a great day, congratulations to the winner, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!